Good evening, I'm Dennis House, and we have some devastating, heartbreaking news to deliver tonight. Denise DiCenzo died suddenly today, and we're all still trying to comprehend what happened. It was unexpected, and the grief is overwhelming. At this time, we are thinking of her husband and daughter, whom she loved very dearly. Denise was more than just a co-anchor of mine for the last 25 years. She was a sister I never had. I was her brother that she never had. She was my TV wife, and we were best friends, and I will miss her dearly. Six years ago, Denise was honored with a Silver Circle Award for her leadership and accomplishments. Here is the tribute piece that chronicles an amazing woman and an amazing career. It was late winter 1986 when Denise DiCenzo burst onto the Connecticut television scene. That Farrah Fawcett haircut captured the hearts of viewers all over the state. In fact, over the years, Denise has brought us a plethora of hairstyles copied by women all over Southern New England. But much more importantly, she brought us stories that touched our lives. The visit by Pope John Paul II in 1987, an exclusive interview with Paul Newman at his rarely seen home in Westport. Denise was there for the homecoming of troops after the Persian Gulf War, for inaugurations and elections. She loved working on the Jerry Lewis telethon, helping youngsters through all the toiling she never let the viewers see her sweat. By the turn of the century, Denise was viewed as the preeminent newswoman in the state, and during the darkest moment of our time, helped lead the state in a 9-11 prayer service. Hundreds of people still in shock over the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center a few days earlier, gathered right outside our studios in downtown Hartford. We are also stronger with a spirit of unity. And in recent years, Denise has been devoting much of her time to health reporting, bringing viewers inside emergency rooms, operating rooms, and getting patients to share their most intimate details. How did your wife Lisa find out? How was she informed? Her extraordinary work in the field and on the desk led to a big honor this past spring, an honorary doctorate degree at Quinnipiac University. Wherever you go from here, set an example by doing your job and living your life with kindness. Over the past 27 and a half years, Denise's peers have acknowledged her with several Emmys, but this classically trained journalist will tell you her biggest accomplishment came in 1997 when the camera wasn't on, her daughter. Yes, I have some personal news that I'd like to share with you right now. I'm going to have a baby, my husband. Oh, listen to that. <laughs> that baby came the following spring, Catherine. Denise was now mom by day, journalist by night. I can say Denise is also a great friend to many and delivered a reading at my wedding to Kara more than a decade ago. And Denise has certainly provided us with some lighter moments. There, let me move this chair so you can see a little bit better. There you go. On the Christmas tree. Bradley International Airport in Windsor Locks. Al, you've got to get this fly. Denise, congratulations on your silver circle. And let's start working on the gold circle. My great friend Denise loved journalism and she loved telling stories and over the next hours and days we'll be sharing some of her favorite